Hi, I'm Martin, and in this Nexperia video series, we will show you how to find the best matching ESD protection for an IC. In a situation where the system level ESD protection does not achieve the required level and when the usual tips to optimize the system don't help, it is good to take a step back and focus on finding the best matching ESD protection for the IC that is used. Now let's look at a typical system that should be optimized. On the left there is a socket where the ESD pulse enters the signal line. Next to it there is an ESD protection component and further along the signal line is the IC that is to be protected. We will assume that the IC has an internal ESD protection and some sensitive elements, for example an input circuit. To make the system level protection work effectively, the external protection needs to be chosen in a way that only lets so much residual current and clamping voltage pass that it won't harm the IC. As every IC is different, there are a few things we need to find out. Firstly, what voltage level is the maximum that can appear at the input for a short time before it causes damage? And secondly, what are the characteristics of the internal ESD protection? When does it get activated? How well does it conduct? And at which current level does it fail? In case this data is not available from the manufacturer of the IC, it can be measured by using TLP. Applying TLP pulses to an IC will show the characteristics of its internal ESD protection. To identify the failure level of other sensitive paths, that means the minimum pulse level that is harmful, for example for an input, functional tests after each applied pulse are required. Once the TLP characteristics of the IC are available, a simple method is to overlay it with the TLP characteristics of a protection device. We will look at different example cases in order to see what can happen. In the first case, we see the IC's TLP curve always stays lower than that of the external protection. This means that the IC's built-in protection always triggers earlier and clamps low. The external protection does not work in this case. It needs to be replaced by a protection that triggers lower and provides a lower clamping voltage. In the second case, we can observe that the external ESD protection triggers at a lower voltage than the IC's internal protection. However, at higher currents the two curves intersect, which means that at some point the clamping of the external ESD is rising above of that of the internal protection. In other words, the external protection would lose its initial advantage and may let more current be discharged via the IC's internal protection. To solve this, an external protection with lower turn-on resistance should be chosen. In the next case, the external ESD protection triggers at a lower voltage than the IC's internal protection and stays low even for higher currents. This means that the external protection triggers before the IC's internal protection and takes the majority of the ESD current. Everything is fine, the IC is well protected. Only if we start considering a maximum input voltage shown by the red line, we start seeing a problem. The clamping curve of the external protection hits the maximum voltage at 12 amp TLP. This indicates that from this current level onwards, the voltage behind the external ESD protection may reach a level that is harmful for the IC. This can be solved by replacing the external protection with one featuring even lower turn-on resistance. Although overlaying the TLP characteristic curves is very intuitive, it only looks at the bare TLP characteristics of the protection components. Other parts of the system, like the PCB with its parasitic elements, are not considered. This generally gives good guidance, but it may not be 100% accurate in some cases. For a better modeling of the system with detailed insights into residual currents and clamping voltages, we suggest to look at SEED simulation, which is also presented in another video of this series. Thanks for watching, I hope to see you again in another Nexperia video.